Hello and welcome to the interview here on France 24. We're in The Hague, the Netherlands, and our guest today is Charles Blegoudet. He is the leader of the Ivorian political party, uh, COJEP. Thank you very much for being with us, Mr. Blegoudet. A pleasure. You were formerly the youth minister under uh, the president uh, Laurent Gbagbo a decade ago. Uh, you were acquitted uh, by the International Criminal Court here in The Hague of crimes against humanity. And after a long wait, you were finally granted an Ivorian passport, which means that you can return to your home uh, country. How are you feeling about getting this passport after such a long wait? Yeah, not only for the passport, but uh, being acquitted after six years and then waiting for a passport during such a long period can be a moment of joy. I'm happy to finally have my passport. It gave me my citizenship and I'm happy to have it. This means that you are going back to the Ivory Coast soon, very soon. How soon? Let's say soon, uh, because, because granting me the passport, I think the authorities of the country know that uh, having my passport uh, is opening the way for me to go back home. But I will not go like that. There will be a consultation, a dialogue between me and the authorities of my country. And after that, I think we will, uh, uh, we will uh, discuss a schedule. And after that, uh, the, the date will be communicated to everybody for me to go back home. But you must be impatient after 11 years. Indeed, indeed. Impatient to, be, to, to see my, my children, impatient to, to see my family and friend that I left behind uh, 11 years ago. This passport has been granted by uh, the president of the Republic, Alassane Ouattara. Uh, you were his enemy uh, for uh, years. What does it say? I was not his enemy. His political uh, enemy, let's put it this way. His political opponent, maybe. Uh, but directly he took into his hand this dossier. This is, uh, finally, it's not an administrative dossier, but a political one. And I'm happy that uh, we can uh, speak uh, man to man like that. Uh, he sent me his chief of cabinet who came here. But I think we are in a good way for reconciliation in our country. Uh, that is a country uh, which went under a very, 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 very difficult situation which caused a uh, death of uh, about 3,000 people. I think uh, uh, it is not uh, a simple passport or a simple coming back for a, for, for a man. You know, people dead, people died, sorry. Uh, some of them lost their, their job and they were orphans. It is not uh, that easy speaking about that. That's why uh, I'm putting myself in uh, this position of being patient so that we can discuss and clear this page of our history. Does that mean, given that uh, this has been handled directly by the president, uh, uh, th yes. that uh, there is a deal between you and him about the conditions of your return and about other things? People are always, always talking about a deal. Speaking with uh, your adversary, with your opponent, does not bring out a deal necessary. Uh, we are not yet there. For the time being, the president is willing to organize my come back to my country. The, if I return back, maybe we'll have this di discussion, but uh, there's no deal yet, and uh, we are not expecting to have a deal. We just are preparing a return home of uh, somebody who is uh, a political personality who's been away from his country for 11 years. This is where we are. Right. But let's talk very concretely. You were acquitted by yeah. the ICC in appeal, uh, so that's final. However, uh, there is a 20-year jail sentence against you handed down in December 2009, in 2019, sorry, in the Ivory Coast for crimes, torture, uh, rape. Uh, if you come back, does this mean you're going to jail? Or did you get guarantees that this will not happen? You're talking about torture, about crime against humanity. That's why I'm here. Mm. And I've been acquitted for that. Mm. Uh, so, but let it not take it in the law, law way. Let's take it uh, from the political situation. Uh, there are many personalities before me who were 
sentence for 20 years and who went back home, like Lorong Babo and some other fellows of Lorong Babo who are now in the country and they are free to do whatever they want. So there is, uh, I think, and I hope, the president will uh, take this disposition, disposition also for me. Has he told you he would, this would be the case? That Somebody that you want to sentence and you want to put, put to jail, you don't send him your chief of cabinet. You can send him a judge or something like that. He didn't do it. So he's in a position to bring together uh, all the children of this country so that uh, we can forget uh, uh, the situation of uh, war that we went through. You mentioned Laurent Gbagbo. Uh, he was your mentor for years. Uh, you spent years uh, seeing him every day in jail here in uh, The Hague. He created a new party several months ago, but you're not in uh, this party because I understand you were not offered to be part of that. But you have also to point out that before creating this new party, he was also a leader of the, country, the former party that uh, we call FPS, I was not a member of that country. But instead of this, we were always together. So I think uh, he's a Democrat, Mr. Doron he, he, he knows me very well, and you know I'm a chief of a party. That's why he didn't offer me this. And uh, to be clear, I'm not a member of, uh, the, 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 of the new party that he created. I don't know what is in, I don't know the vision of But this you country. didn't really want to be in there, or were you told not to get close to that party? Did you feel that maybe not Laurent Gbagbo himself, but people around him did not want you I in? I think people around him don't want me there. Why? They would give one day their reason. But anyway, uh, I would not condemn that for that. Uh, anyway, I, I am very good where I am. I feel well where I am. I'm leader of COGEP. And then we are getting organized like they did. Laurent Gbagbo divorced from Simone Gbagbo, who is herself a politician and who now seems eager to create her own political entity. Uh, you've expressed admiration for her many times. Does this mean that she could become an ally more than Laurent Gbagbo for you? We all were allies. We all were allies in this battle. But uh, I was close to Laurent Gbagbo, and I was close to Simon Gbagbo. Now Laurent Gbagbo has a new party. We know all the leaders of this country, of this uh, party. I'm not part of it. I'm close to, to, to Simon Gbagbo, to be honest. I'm close to her. But uh, the divorce he has with his uh, husband, this is private. I'm talking about the political divorce. Politically speaking, I'm close to her. Could that mean there could be an alliance that your party and her party could join hands? You were talking about my return home. Once I'm home, we will discuss about all this. Right. Uh, what about age limitation for president? There's a project now in the National Assembly in Ivory Coast whereby you could not be a candidate if you're over 75. This would eliminate the current president, Alassane Ouattara, Laurent Gbagbo, and the former president, Henri Conan Bédier, is this something that you're in favor of? Yeah, I am in favor of it, of the limitation of age, but it is not about individuals. It is about alternation. So I am in favor of age limitation in my country, as it was before. That's it. Right. What about the limitation of presidential mandates? There's a big debate uh, that often uh, some say two mandates is the maximum, but you can see, and Ivory Coast is an example of that, sometimes the constitution is changed and the president say, no, it's a new constitution, so th the count starts again and so on and so on. And it creates tensions like it did in the last presidential and election. It creates tension, not only in, in Ivory Coast, but uh, in all the African countries. And the African leaders have to realize and then have this in mind that we are not in kingdoms. We need alternation in our country. We need democratic alternation in our country. Youth are fleeing from our African country, go and die in the sea just because they want to see a new dawn, because they are looking for hope. Let's give them hope so that they can stay home. I would really urge them to accept uh, this uh, a democratic alternation for limitation of uh, the mandate. When you 
have a mandate of five years or ten years, when you finish, you just leave power to give the chance to change. That is it. Because when there's no change, no, no chance to change, the country is always living under tensions, and this cannot uh, give a chance to uh, economic situation. Do you think this opens the doors to military coups, as we've seen in Mali, Guinea, Burkina Faso? Correct. You see it in Guinea, in, in, in Mali, in Burkina Faso. Why are those young people always taking weapons against the regime? Because there's no way for change. Let off a chance to change, and then you will see as there's no coup in France, in UK, and everywhere in Europe, it's because there is a chance to change. People are looking for change. Right. Last question. Uh, you've mentioned before that your goal, your ambition, is to be president of the Ivory Coast. The next election is scheduled for 2025. Will you run? I said I will become president of my country one day. 2025 is coming. Too and soon? Still, Too soon? Soon, and still I'm here at The Hague. You have to campaign. You need a team. Let me meet with my team, and then we'll make a decision. But for yet, for now, I cannot tell. But my ambition is there. But my ambition is not above the lives of the million of Ivorian. This is just an ambition. If you control your ambition, because you want to control people, the first thing to do is to control yourself and your ambition and your interest. This is what I'm trying to do. But when I'm back home, my team and I will meet and then everybody will know my position by that. Charles Begoudet, I want to thank you very much uh, for being our guest here on the France 24 interview from The Hague and thank you for watching it.